Hey there, my name is David Trigdy. I am a motion designer and art director, but today I'm going back in the archives to show you a project file I made a few years back. Where? Back to the future! And had up for sale on a now defunct website. Uh, and someone tracked me down on an old Instagram account that I no longer maintain and asked if I would be putting it up for sale again. And so I did. And so I want to do a little walkthrough video in case you're interested in either replicating this yourself or you want to buy the template and are uh, unsure how it'll work. So this template was inspired by the title sequence for the TV show Dark on Netflix. I know a bit of a throwback considering where we are today. But at the time, I was obsessed with this show. Uh, the overall vibe was just chef's kiss. But the title sequence was so simple and yet communicated so much. Um, and I wanted to replicate it in a slightly simpler version um, for either sermon series openers or a general sort of moody event opener. Or if you want to create a title sequence with it for your short film or YouTube channel. So let's play it through and you can uh, see what you're getting. So it's pretty straightforward. It's 44, almost 45 seconds long. So not very long. Um, and you only have a few places to put text, um, but they're key moments, I guess I would say, on these shots of road. Um, and included with this project file are the free clips uh, from Pexels and Pixabay that I used. Let's dive in here. First of all, if we open the sequence folder here, um, you've got your main and vertical sequences, right? So if we open up the vertical, this one is already reframed for vertical for you. Uh, you may have to move some things around, like the text is not in the right spot here, um, but in general, they're ready to go, right? <laughs> Look at that, perfect, okay. Let's go back to the main. So here you can see uh, why the two layers of text. Well, it's because of how I wanted to do the blur effect. Um, basically, um, when I originally did this, I did it in After Effects with the uh, Deep Glow third party effect. Um, and that does not port over to Premiere even if I wanted it to. So I had to sort of create my own custom uh, glow with a mix of directional blur and fast blur on the bottom level and then just the regular text on the top. So uh, to edit the text, you can either go to it from the main timeline or or you can go into the edit bin here and edit text. And let's edit the intro text and there we go. Um, and so, you know, we can just change this to my name, David Tregdy, go back into the main. And there we go. And so the text is sort of pre-designed uh, here to uh, work for um, the footage that we have. And obviously, if you change out the footage to something that fits uh, your project, then you're going to need to adjust the text accordingly. Now, I want to talk about these transitions. These are all video-based transitions, uh, just set with uh, overlay modes, screen, uh, probably being the predominant one, Lighten, um, but all from this category of blend modes. Um, so they kind of feel like light flashes and lens flares. Um, and just to give you something to transition to, and of course you could repeat these or add others as necessary. Now, um, let's look at the uh, footage. So if we want to... Let's go to clip one. So this is the you know opener clip, right? So that goes into this O one dash Kaleida scene. You can see how I've pre-comped these clips to mirror. Um, 
exactly how I want them to uh, using the crop effect and just aligning the clips exactly. Now, the beauty of uh, this template for you is that you could rearrange these Kaleida elements, the Kaleida scenes, any way you wanted to. So let's say you like how Kaleida 3 works instead of Kaleida 1 for your opener. Well, then you could just rearrange them and swap that out and it would work for you. Um, this was originally edited to a certain soundtrack and all that stuff that I can't include because I don't have the licenses to do so. But what's really cool about this project is you could arrange this any way you wanted to. And once you kind of have a grasp of how this was made with the different uh, flip effects, uh, crops and all that kind of stuff, you could make your own. Uh, this is one I really like because it's just very unsettling. All right. Now I'm just ranting and rambling about this. Hopefully this template sort of inspires you uh, like it did me um, when I first made it. And I was just obsessed with mirroring effects and really customizing the mirror effects to be exactly the way I wanted and not just, you know, slapping mirror on and calling it a day, but really like customizing the look like this one, 05 Kaleida, for example, is, you know, four clips kind of stacked to create the exact look that I'm wanting here. I just hope that, um, you know, this template inspires you to go out and try it for yourself. If you like projects like this, if you uh, like templates like this, um, I'd say subscribe to my YouTube channel because I plan on releasing uh, more of these um, and explaining them in further detail. The only reason um, I'm not with this one is because I made it hmm, seven years ago. Uh, so I hope you uh, enjoyed this. If you uh, appreciate this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about uh, the template or how I made it, please ask in the comments below and I will do my best to answer that. And like I said, uh, linked in the description to my Gumroad shop if you would like to purchase. Thanks. See you in the next one.